All right, all right. Just got the recording started, so we're going to get this ball rolling here. It is Sunday's market forecast with your prophet preacher here, Mr. Trends in the building. Um, we are live right now. We want to see exactly what the weekly Forex forecast look like. Um, so what I, I want to first start off with is Forex Factory. Um, ForexFactory.com is where you actually need to be checking this daily before you're trading. Okay, and the reason why you want to check this daily because you want to see what impacts in the market are currently happening that day, right? So if you're a person who likes to, um, you know, trade JPY pairs, you want to see here because if we, we saw a red folder on the JPY pair today, that means it, it's probably going to be a lot of volatility. Um, there's going to be some major impacts. The market could go in any direction very quickly because of the major impacts. So you may not want to trade that day, for example. Um, but as we can see here, we're seeing yellow. Um, it's Sunday, so the market is just opening right now. So things are, are really on the up and up, just opening back up right now, which usually means on Sunday, spreads are high, right? Spreads are usually high, again, just for the simple fact that the markets um, are opening and everything right now. So uh, that's cool. That's great right now. So first of all, we're on Forex Factory um, because we're going to start looking at the forecast first um, and see what's going on in the markets for this week. So let's actually uh, just jump in and take a look. Right. So you guys can see here news, latest story. So if you're just getting on ForexFactory.com um, is something you want to write down in your notes. Um, and uh, whether it's on your phone, whether you got pen and pad right now, so just make sure you're doing that um, right now. So let's um, let's look at what the weekly forex forecast is, right? You know, and again, I like to actually do this, um, you know, you know, live. Like I didn't pre-plan this. I actually just want to kind of look at things, kind of look at some stories, and let's kind of see what's um, exactly going on in the forecast before we even look at the charts. Okay, so um, it's already kind of telling us what Euro USD um, is probably going to look like um, this week, right? It says Euro had a volatile week um, over the previous five trading sessions. As we all know, last week was NFP week. Um, of course, a lot of people do choose to trade NFP because you can get some very major moves again, but if you're predicting it wrong, you can get some major losses very quickly. Why a conservative trader like myself usually takes it very, very uh, lightly. All right, we just popped up. All right, so um, let, let's see here. So we're looking at the Euro USD. Um, we we are seeing that it, it was currently in an uptrend. Um, it's likely that we will find value on a pullback because the market cannot go in one direction forever, as you guys can see. As you guys can see, we see the uptrend right here. We see it hit this zone, right? And this is the zone um, right now of resistance or what we like to call a ceiling, because look how, look how it retests that zone. We saw that first retest, now we see a second one. It's almost like a teacup, right? So now what's usually happening on a teacup, we're gonna make a handle, right? So we're probably gonna see the Euro USD, um, as, it's, as it's stated up here, we're gonna see the value pull back a little bit. Um, and, and basically, um, what I would do at that point is kind of just kind of see what happens once the market opens um, in the next few hours or so. Um, but right now, if you're a risky trader, you might put in a sale right now. Um, but we'll look at that once we actually go to the charts. Just kind of want to look over some, some forecasts um, right now. Uh, let's see, Great Britain Pound, JPY. Um, we're looking at it right now. We also see kind of something similar here. We see a, almost a, a double top, right? It's already, we already seen the teacup, um, right? We've seen it hit again, right? So usually what happens when we see it hit this line, right? It does what? It comes down. So um, British pound went back and forth during the course of the week, showing signs of indecision, which means um, basically consolidation, which means it's, it's not going up, it's not going down, it's mainly still in this one channel, as we can kind of see right here. So what we would love to see is how it reacts um, to this level. And if we see a breakout, we can possibly see a retest and then to the upside, okay? Um, USD, we're not looking at that pair. We rarely look at those pairs. So I'm really not going to actually speak on that because we really don't. NZD is not something I really trade. Neither is the Swiss franc much um, as well um, or the Chinese won, uh, which is one of our uh, newer currencies um, out there in China. All right, but Forex Factory is the bee's knees. So for example, if we look at this Monday, 
Let me go back to it. Give me a second. Because uh, of right now, of course, the market is just opening, so we're not seeing much. But before you trade every day, um, especially when you're going in the game, you want to make sure that you're looking at this, forexfactory.com, because it's basically going to let you know, hey, is this a good day for trading? If you see a lot of red floaters, that usually means, hey, it's blood in the waters, right? You really don't want to jump in the water when you see sharks already, right? You know, so definitely want to stay out. We want to see yellow, possibly um, some, some green. Um, so let me go back to maybe another day so I can kind of show you kind of how this looks. As you guys can see here, on the seventh, we see the red folders on USD CAD. So again, non-farm payroll, which is NFP, which means crazy news is coming out. And you can come here and open the details. You can actually read it. I'm right here if you're a person that actually likes to look more in depth. Um, I know I like to read it as well, um, which means like for the US dollar on NFP week, that means the unemployment rate comes out or news about stimulus packages come out. So for example, if the stimulus package is approved, that means the US dollar is gonna get weaker. Why? Because the United States is already $26 trillion in debt. So that means the debt is just gonna increase, which means the value of our dollars are gonna decrease because they're just printing money, right? If you saturate the market, it becomes less valuable, right? Again, high supply, low demand. OK, whereas in the opposite, we want to see a, a low demand. I mean, I'm sorry, we want to see a low supply and a high demand. That basically means the U.S. dollar would be getting stronger. For example, if the news comes out, there are no stimulus checks. OK, hey, guess what? The U.S. dollar index is more than likely going to get stronger at that point. But this is an example from the 7th where we would say, hey, at 830 a.m., we see some news going on with the USD and CAD. I'm probably not going to trade and then the market closes on Fridays early uh, around four. Probably not even going to mess with it on Fridays. I usually don't even trade on Fridays. Okay. And if y'all got any questions while I'm going through this um, and, and cause I see you online, I still want to go through that back office stuff with you. I know you just got signed up today. So I definitely want to do that um, here once we uh, finish our forecast portion right here. All right. So now let's look at this week. The first thing when I came to trading view, I spotted this thing said Bitcoin to 32K. I mean, if you know anything about Bitcoin, seeing it go to 32K would be crazy, right? I'm just thinking about my Bitcoin assets right now. That's to me alone, that's already like, I can't even think how, how much would that be? Like that's three X and that would be three X in my account, basically. So that's whatever you have in Bitcoin times three. You have a thousand dollars and it goes to 32k that means you just made 3k if you got two grand um six if you got five that's 15 if you got 10k that's 30k right which is crazy to even imagine bitcoin going there but the possibilities are endless because we know what cryptocurrency can do all right oh, i'm sorry drop my thing on the phone all right so the first thing i'm going to look at is btc usd let's look at the market and see what we have going on. We may be in a position to actually get into some live trades. So uh, if I see the opportunities, I will let you know. All right, as we bring this up, and tradingview.com is free. Um, everyone um, needs to have a tradingview.com account. Again, this is a free um, access. Um, it just allows you to utilize the teachings and education that we're getting from Tradera. It allows you to put it in play, right? It allows you to practice, I guess, in that sense, right? Now that we've been in the classroom, now we go to the field and we can put things in play. So, oh man, Bitcoin, um, right now we guys can see, I'm just looking at it with the naked eye. I'm on an hour chart. I already see it hit that level of support and it's bounced right on back up. Oh man, I'm about to see that thing right here. Boom. Hit that level right there. And again, as you guys can see, when, when I chose this level, because my naked eye sees some different things already, right? I can already kind of see it because I've just been looking at charts so much. And again, if you're new, um, you may not be able to see it right away. But again, the more you study, the more you learn, of course, the easier it's gonna get. So just be patient with yourself and that understanding. Um, and the reason why I saw it here, because you guys can see at first, it was a level of resistance. It was a ceiling, right? It necessarily didn't go all the way up, but we see it bounce back down. We see it touch it again, bounce. We see it get close again right here. 
bounce back down. We see it touch, right? Boom. We see the trend. We see that trend happening, right? That's why we trade the trends, okay? So now what we see is when we're looking at this, we see that breakthrough, right? Once we see that breakthrough right here, okay, and then that candle closes above that that used to be ceiling, right? That's that, that's your buy right there. That's when we knew, you know, we're gonna keep going up, right? And Bitcoin for the last few months has gone from 3K per Bitcoin to now almost 12K per Bitcoin. Actually, I think I actually made some money off this trade. I think I put one in earlier. Let me check it. I should mind you. Actually, yes, I'm up about six dollars. Six dollars and twenty-eight cents. I got in at eleven six oh five, and it's eleven six thirty-seven right now. So on twenty cents on Bitcoin, I made about six dollars and twenty-eight cents. And I'm probably just gonna let it ride right now. So I see we're in the buy, and the and I usually wouldn't get into a trade like this, um, simply because it doesn't. It's it's not above the fifty, which this blue line is the fifty moving average. And when you're looking for buys, you like to see um, price above the 50. And when you're seeing price below the 50, kind of like it is now, we're kind of looking for sales. So what I, what I was assuming, the reason why I got in, right, was because I saw one, I saw, I saw this engulfing candle, right? And I don't want to be too much in it. You know, if you want to understand engulfing candles, you know, go to your academy, uh, the Forex terminology is in there and it explains to it. And also the candlestick Bible is in there as well. Basically engulfing means is that the, the buy candle, that full candle can actually fit in this candle that's prior, right? So you guys can see, I can fit this whole candle inside of this, which basically means market is now changing direction. Okay. So I saw that and I said, let me enter this trade. And my take profit is exactly where it's at right now because I know if it breaks back up, we're gonna at least see it hit that 50 MA. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna close my trade. Um, actually, maybe not. It just went up to eight dollars real quick. So uh, let me check this out. But I'm gonna take my eight dollars and 28 cents to the bank. Eight dollars, 18 cents. Had to pay 10 cents spread. But off 20 cents, guys. 20 cents. Just made just netted me eight dollars and eighteen cents off trading Bitcoin. Okay, and that's what we're here to do. We're here to learn. All right. So looking at Bitcoin's forecast right now, um, what could possibly happen next? Right, because that's when the move is going to happen. Travis, what's going to happen next? When do I get in? And guys, you see how this next line I just put in at? That's why this was my take profit, because I knew I saw this channel, right? I saw it happening. And I can actually go on a higher time frame. I'm going to go on a day, right? And it's probably still going to line up, right? A lot of times these things line up no matter what time frame you're on, right? So you guys can see that channel even on the daily time frame, even though we're back in, um, look at this, August 5th. This is last year, right? This is last year and it was respect in this zones. Right. One thing we understand in, in the stock market, in the crypto market, in the foreign exchange market, any money market you want to think of is that history does what? It repeats itself. Right. You just have to position yourself to understand when it's coming or when you've missed it. Right. Because a lot of people will see, hey, Bitcoin just jumped from 3K to 11K. Now I'm going to buy. That's probably not the best time to buy if you're investing. Why? Is because you've already missed a $9,000 move, right? And that's just like the recession. Every eight to nine years, a retracement or a recession happens, right? We saw the recession of the 2008-2009 um, when the uh, real estate market crashed, right? Uh, bailouts happened then too. Uh, I believe stimulus checks happened. I was a little younger then, you know, so I probably didn't really understand it a lot. You know, all that stuff happened. But now all we have to do is be patient, right? Just how I was able to take 20 cents to $8, right? It may not sound like a lot, but what if I could do that a million times, right? That'd be $8 million, right? So that's how I think of things when I'm looking at Bitcoin, okay? So, all right, now let me zoom out. All right, so as you guys can see right here, now when I'm looking at to see Bitcoin do, 
um, of course, is what's going to happen now that we've hit this zone, okay? And we can also, let me see, where's that line? And we also got some respect up here. We see one, two, three, four touches, five, six, close seven touches right here to that zone as well. Because we could see a few things with Bitcoin. Uh, let me see, where's my marker? One second, y'all. I'm about to get this uh, mark out here for us. All right, because what we could see is Bitcoin do is this, right? And this is what I would be waiting on, right? All right, we could see that. We could also see as you got as we see it right now where it is. I could possibly see something similar in the opposite direction, right? And that's the thing about marking up charts. It's it's a must that you mark up the both possibilities, I would say, because you know, based on how we're looking at it, there are, again, there are no guarantees in the market, right? So we have to be able to say, if this happens, then this happens, right? Like a hypothesis. You know, if we've ever been in science class, those if then statements, if I do this, then this will happen, right? So basically what I'm saying is if it breaks through and it retraces and it touches this point, then I'm in a buy, right? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> As simple as that, right? Um, if this retraces, then comes back and touches this level of the ceiling, then I'm in a sale, okay? And a lot of times you guys can see we have our indicator, which is our 20 pip and dip indicator. Um, I do apologize for the hold up on it. And again, this is not something that's included with Tradera, um, but it is something that's um, available to us because of joining my team. Um, I've partnered with David and David, um, has trademarked um, this indicator, paid um, hundreds of dollars, you know, um, if not thousands of dollars for this indicator. As you guys can see, 20 pips and dip, you see the trademark logo right there. So it's official tissue. But what this does is also assist with, as you guys can see, the buy, right? And again, in this scenario, because it says buy under the 50, I, it, it goes against, you know, my, my normal strategy. But because I know I can probably get some small pips in there and I only risk 20 cents, um, basically $2 at most. If it went the wrong way, it would have it got me out at $2, which would have been right here. And I would only lost $2 of my, you know, over $500 account, right? Because it's only um, less than 1% to 2% risk, okay? So here are the possibilities when we're looking at Bitcoin um, as we see it, you know, right here. I'm actually going to take a quick picture of this. Um, so let me see, All right, so I can have this for myself um, as well. I do a lot of the trading for my phone. Cool, so real quick, um, I see we got everybody here. So uh, Sam, you got any questions on Bitcoin before I, I go to our next, before I look at some gold? No, no, I'm waiting for you to get to that gold. Okay, gotcha, yeah, I'm about to look at gold right now. So. Um, of course, Bitcoin is one that a lot of people usually ask me about. USD. So now look, let's just look at some gold, right? And a lot of people say, hey, you could trade gold. And the crazy part, I'm just like, absolutely. I could trade Apple. Um, I've actually traded some Tesla. I don't mess with the stocks too much um, other than US 30 um, because it's so volatile. But all right, let's look at the gold, okay? Let me take out my old indicators and stuff in here. Let's look at it. All right, so this is the one hour on gold. I like to start off with the daily so I can kind of see, you know, that trend there from the day-to-day -day charts. You guys can see, look at that. Look at that. Bitcoin is on the up and up on the daily. Y'all see the zones I'd already put out here. <laughs> you know, it, it had already, and I got into that bot right there. Oh my goodness. That was when I got that gold on Thursday um, when I made them pips and I could have kept it but I wanted to get out of the market on Friday. Wow, that's a sniper. Hold on, man, I'm so proud of myself. I got I gotta, I gotta gloat a little bit. Look at that junk right there. That was a sniper entry. Sniper. Where my junk at? Where is it at? 
There we go. Boom. I got in right there. As soon as that wick hit that jump, it said enter, enter the buy. I probably rode it to about 1983. Again, I only got about 20 pips. I don't try to get a lot. Um, I don't try to go for the, the home run every time because all I'm trying to do is get on base, right? If I can get on base, they're going to pay me millions of dollars, right? If you know anybody in the MLB right now, you only need to bat 300. That means you out seven out of 10 times. That's insane, right? You're out seven out of 10 times. I need to only get on base three out of 10 times. And that could make me a millionaire. And that's the mindset you have to have, you know, because a lot of people want to go for it. Man, Trav, you could have made $100. Yes, but I secured 40 right? And I'm comfortable with that, especially when I'm, I'm using only 20 and 50 cents because, that's, because it moves so fast, it can move that same speed in the opposite direction. And again, that's why I say always be conservative, um, always be um, use proper risk management, one to 3%. Um, at most, right? Um, however, with gold, you do have to be able to risk a little bit more because gold is so volatile and it's spread, you're probably risking 10 to 11% per trade. Um, and that's why gold is so risky. Um, US 30 as well um, is very risky, but it also has those great rewards if you can hit those entries just like that, man, wow. I'm just so, I'm just so excited, I'm so hyped, right? You know, I'm too hyped right now. Just even looking at it, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't even, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, y'all. I'm so hyped. Like, because guys, we are going to be the team that's going to build $1,000 per week traders, right? And a lot of people used to ask me, um, you know, you use Project 1K. What does that mean? My goal is to help 1,000 families make $1,000 a week trading, right? Um, is the networking um, a benefit or the referral a benefit? Yes, it's a benefit. But the goal is to be able to look at the market, make uh, proper predictions, get in and make money and get out the, get out the market, right? 20 cents to $8. You're going to do that every day. You're going to take that every time, right? You can't beat that, okay? So, um, but let's see what goal is about to do right now. Again, goal is at all-time highs, Right, so all this stuff really is new. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Gold is at all time highs. So um, the last high, which was in 2019, I wanna say, was it? No, I think it was 2017. Where is it at? It's not even coming up. I need to go on like the, yep. Uh, as you can guys see now, that was 2012 when Bitcoin I hit almost 1911, um, guys. And that was the last high right, for almost, what's that, eight to nine years that um, gold had not surpassed $1,900 an ounce. Now we're seeing it at $2,024 an ounce, ladies and gentlemen. So that is crazy. That's phenomenal. We do see it's an uptrend on the daily. Um, I like to slowly go down um, and let's see what the four-hour chart looks like. Uh, the four hour, we still see the uptrend. We still see it above the 50 MA, which is this blue line. All right, now let's look at the hour. See the hour, it is under the blue, okay? And as we're looking at the hour right now, we do see the sale opportunity, right? We just see that at six o'clock, this candle is in a sale movement, okay? So I will be looking to see, okay, what that looks like when it closes. But for example, what we could do right now with gold, we can set up a demo trade. Sam, I don't know if you follow me, but I'm about to actually see if we can get a demo trade in um, real quick because the candle has not closed and it's only been 30 minutes. And I like to actually see the candle be closed, but um, sometimes we got to see what it is. Um, and let's just check it out. So what I'm about to do is get me a horizontal line over here. I'm sorry, a vertical line put it right on this candle, my vertical, because I'm on a one hour. I'm now gonna go to the five minute chart. And then, okay, so five minute, um, because I'm looking for a sale, right? I wanna see that next candle close, right? So my sale would be right here. Now with my horizontal line, at, my sale would be right here. So as you guys can see, and basically what I would do, I would set in a limit, but it looks like we're gonna test it, right? So I will put in a sale limit. That means once price hits 2027, 
then it's going to enter because I believe at that point it's going to bounce back down. Okay, and I'm actually going to do this short position. Oh, look, it's already hit it. It already hit it. Look, it already hit our entry. Boom. So now we 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 will be entered the market at this point. We will be entered the market, and we're only trying to get 20 pips. We're not trying to ride the wave all the way down because I don't believe even that downtrend is even going to stay very long. Ooh, this thing got the wave. Man, I hate these things. All right, make it a little bit smaller, right? So you guys can see we will be in. I'm going to move it to this side right here so we can still see price over here. And I like to put, all right, and see with, with these jumps, we're risking almost 500 pips. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So that's the thing. That's why we use very low lot size, like a 0.01, because 500 pips is still $50, right? So if you have a $100 account, maybe gold, US 30, Bitcoin, is not where you want to start trading. Please believe that, honestly. Um, gold, this is for more experienced traders, I would say, in a sense. And I want to take my take profit right here at 531. Boom, right at the end of this candle, right? You guys see it did what? Y'all see that entry point? Y'all see it hit it? But guess what? It bounced right back down, right? Let me put this trade in. I'm about to put this demo in. I'm about to demo this thing. Where is it at? Gold is hiding from me. It don't want me to trade it. There we go. Right now, since it's already hit, I'm just going to do a market execution sale at a 0 0.02, which is 20 cents, which I'm already in negative $2 because of the spread, which basically means there is a, a 10 pip spread. Okay. So that means, and that's how the brokers get paid, right? They get paid based on the spread. Right. And if you're a gambler or anything, bet on horses, you can probably understand what a spread is. Um, but it's already dropping down to 174, things like that. So we're we're probably more than likely, guys, I'm pretty sure we're gonna see some profits um out of this just for simply because we're utilizing our strategy. Uh Sam, did you catch that? Hopefully you caught that. Yeah, I caught it. Okay, cool. So um, I put it in on the demo just to kind of see what it is, but I'm actually going to actually um, also put in uh, a stop loss. As you guys can see, the red is my stop loss and the green would be my take profit. And basically what a stop loss is, the stop loss is if the market goes this far the wrong way, mm, I don't want any more smoke. <laughs> That's basically what that means. I don't, I don't want to lose no more money. I want to be able to protect my account not blow my hold account. Um, and also, um, if market goes this way, I just want to go ahead and take profit, you know, and I'm okay with the profit at this point being here, you know, and I'm going to modify that and I am going to put that in. And basically at this point, I set it and forget it. Okay. And I, I wish you guys can see my phone, man, because my phone is, it's, it's moving right now. It's moving, but you guys can see we're already in the green. Right, based on my, based on where it's at, right? Because current price is right here. If y'all can see this little dotted line, I wonder if I can make that a different color or something. How can I do that? I don't think I can. All right, but y'all can see prices right here in the green. So we're already in the money, basically, <laughs> right? And that's crazy. Like it's Sunday, it's gold. Gold is going to make that smooth retracement before it climbs back up to the upside. And when we trade, we make money no matter if the market is going up or down, right? We just need to know when to enter, when to exit, okay? So uh, that's on gold. And I do, and for long term, if I'm looking at gold, let me go back to the hour ch chart, right? If I'm looking at gold, as you guys can see, it's a, it's a clear uptrend, okay? That's a clear uptrend, right? And as I'm seeing here, you guys see it as well. Seeing a small sale, um, it's probably gonna touch again, this point again, where that take profit is. And I'm gonna actually show you guys this zone right here. Boom, we, we see the touches, we see the touches. We see the touch here. We're gonna get another touch right there, right? And let's see what on the higher time frames. 
what happened in that zone, right? I see that zone is up there. And again, not much has happened in the zone, right? Because nothing, right? Because these are all time highs, right? So we're actually, this is all new to everyone, right? This has never happened before, right? So, um, but what we can go back and see, if you actually go back to 2012 and look what happened when it hit all time highs, you can probably see at that point, okay, once it hit an all time high here, we've seen this happen and this happen. So now when we see all time highs, we can expect similar things to happen as well, right? Which I love about um, trading, you know, especially once you get into the uh, analytical aspect of things. I'm um, just looking at gold. Uh, we saw Bitcoin as well. I also like to look at the dollar, right? Because we need to see what the, uh, the dollar is gonna do this week. Oh man, I clicked the wrong one, not the Dixie group. dollar index all right but as you guys can see the dollar has been weakening why has the dollar been weakening pandemic right you know businesses unemployment skyrocketing right who's who's exchanging their money for us dollars right when we're just um you know all willy-nilly printing more dollars nobody you know um they're there aren't anybody traveling right to the US from out of states, right? So no one's exchanging other currencies to the US dollar and things like that. So the dollar is weakening, right? And we can probably expect the dollar to continue to do that the more that our president signs off on stimulus packages, bailouts, and things like that. You know, so um definitely be careful of those things. So when we see the dollar weakening, that means if we're using any pairs like Euro USD, we will be buying, right? We'll be buying because that means the euro is is being strong because the U.S. dollar is weak, as you guys can see. We see that buy, right? We see an uptrend, right? I even I even already uh, put it up here before, right? We already see it's a buy, okay? Because we know the U.S. dollar is getting weak, okay? So we could be buying euro USD because the USD is getting weak and the euro is getting stronger. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and if it doesn't make sense right now, um, a few times in the academy, you know, understand the terminology, support and resistance, as what I just explained. I know cuz we kind of went over the um, back office when you got in earlier, and I kind of showed you where those support and resistance videos were. And that's really what allowed me to see zones in a market, um, when to enter, when to exit, or when to wait. You know, and that's gonna be um, important because um, not every day you're going to trade. It's simple as that. One day you might make $300. One day you might not trade at all. Or you may not trade for the rest of the week because the market doesn't allow. Um, or you may make 20, 30, $30 here. Um, you know, my highest day last week, just last week was like $70 day, right? That was my highest day. Um, total um, last week, how much did I make? Just for example, history last week. Did $304.47 total last week, right? And that was because I had a, you know, a good $70 day, right? Every day wasn't 70, but I hit 70, 40, 50, 20. And then of course, uh, gold, you know, at the end, Bitcoin did me good. Um, US 30 did me good. I lost almost $200 on Bitcoin. But again, because I was able to make it back, I still ended in profit at 304. So who can say that they lost $200 in a week, but came out of that week profitable $300 plus, right? That's what proper risk management does, right? We don't have to win every trade. Shoot, we barely have to win 50% of the time, right? Because of our, our ratio, our proper risk management ratio means we really only need to win between 40 and 60% of the time to be profitable, right? And that's what it's all about, being profitable. Because if you can grow your account little, by little, guess what? Hey, little steps, a million little steps can go a long way, right? Uh, $1 may seem simple, but if you got a million of them, now you got a million dollars, right? That's the mindset, that's the time frame, and that's how we're gonna look at it. Cool. Um, anything else I need to look at right now? I do wanna look at USD JPY real quick. 
I see what's going on. Japanese yen. I'm looking at on a daily. Um, as we see here, um, right now that is in really um, look at what I'm looking at. It looks like a sale. If you if we're looking at the market that way, let me create a trend line real quick. And what I mean by that is we see higher highs. I see a lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower low, right? That's what LL and LH means. We see a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, right? That means that usually predicts that downtrend. So you guys can kind of see that right there. As I just look at the, the tops of those last, boom, we see it in the downtrend, right? So as we can see, we saw that last sale right here. Oh man, that's I'm on the daily. I need to go to the hour. Uh, a lot of the times when we enter the market, we're looking at the hour chart, right? So, yep, clearly shows the downtrend. I'm still gonna leave that blue line up there. But what we're looking for right now here is we got some see we're above the 50 MA. We saw that buy, we saw it close. We would have entered the market right there. We would have entered right here and we would have, would have caught all that. Let's see how much that is. Price range. But a good, a good 20.2 pips. I told you, like it's 20 pips, right? We're not looking for a lot all the time. And, um, and let's think about the power of 20 pips, right? I, I really have to, I would have to write this down. Power of 20 pips, okay? At 0.01 which is 10 cents, that will net us $2. A 0.10, which is $1 per pip, that will net you $20. And this is just on this one trade, okay? Um, if you're a baller like Sam, right? And you got the crazy account, you know what I'm saying? You got the 1.0, which is uh, $10 per pip, that same one trade just made somebody $200 and so on and so on, the more that they're, they're risking, right? But again, you're not gonna risk $10 per pip if you only have a $100 account, because that means if you're risking $10 per pip and it goes 10 pips the opposite way, where it may, because the spread may be three or five pips, right? You're already negative half of your account, right? Which is insane. Right, that's why we don't do that. If you have $100, go get your $2, right? You just, you just increase your account by 2%. Nobody, nobody else is gonna offer you that in a day, right? You cannot even go to your bank right now and say, hey, I got $100 in my account. Can I make $2 a day if I put my money in your account? They're gonna look at you like you're crazy. They're barely gonna give you 20 cents for the whole year on that $100. So that's why we get into trading, okay? Uh, man, so that's the power of those 20 pips, okay? So um, any questions there? Anything else you want to see real quick, uh, Sam? So um, just real quick, um, the confirmation on the five-minute chart. Mm -hmm. we, um, just the entry part again. I kind of missed your entry part on the on the five minute part, five minute chart on this uh, USCN. You said on which one? On the on the chart you're on right now. Uh, well, I didn't. I didn't enter anything on this one. Um, basically, um, I'll go back and to explain kind of what I was saying because I didn't enter anything here. The only thing I entered was that gold one. But um, basically, um, what I was saying here is, for example. When we're looking at the one hour, right? Mm -hmm. we're, look, we're looking for that buy signal, right? So we see that buy candle right here. And we see it close above the blue line. Okay. So let me um let me find my vertical line. I'm gonna put my vertical right here. Boom. Okay. Because buy has told us buy a blood above the 50 and it closes above the 50. That's prime real estate right there. Now we go to the five minute, okay? And once we get on the five minute, let me go back. What you would then do 
is you need to get to the next candle, right? That closes. Um, that next candle that closes right here. So this is an old trade. So basically what we would have done technically on a five minute, I actually would have got in around down here. So let me, um, if we were right on time, right? Um, but being this was in the past, it was just an example. But basically you see here it's under the 50, right? When I go to the five minutes. So what I'm doing at that point is I'm waiting to get that bullish candle that closes above that blue line. So technically, we would have got in right here, right? If I was real time, okay? So real time, we would have got in right here. Let me close this. And we would technically be riding this wave, right? If you understand right. the trailing stop, I know you know how to use your trailing stop. Mm -hmm. how, do I, how do I delete this, man? Hey, that. Leap, man. All right, there you go. So basically, at this point, what I would be looking for is we would have entered right here, right? We would have would have saw some drawdown. You can see that wick came down here, but we would have got in right here. We would have rolled it all the way up to the reversal candle. And that's thirty six pips, right? In itself. Got you. Got you. Cool. All right. So what I would do real quick. Is let me see, let me see what gold looking like. Did you put that gold trade in? Yeah, I definitely did. Okay, yeah, it's still negative one dollar. But when I see, and the thing with gold, when I see a lot of these big, um, these big pairs, when I put in an entry like that and it hovers around one, two dollars for a long time, that means she's ready to go my way because she right. really, you know, what I'm saying so. I'm looking at gold right now. We could probably look at this a few hours from now and um, hopefully hit our take profit. But yeah. Right. Yeah, that makes okay. sense though. Um, want to show me, wanna, want me to do it again? No, nah, can you explain to me the teacup? The teacup? Uh, do you know much about it? Not for real. Um, I just know because it's, it's really an art to it in a sense. Right. But basically what you're just looking for is like a you. Right. You know, right. Um, and I can actually because um, I would actually look like a professional trader to do it. But I can tell you what I know about it. I can definitely give you that. No problem. Of course, I have no problem doing it, giving you what I know. But um, all right. So let's let's find let's look at this right here. Right. So. A lot of times what you see is. You will see boom. Let me see. Am I did I get it? All right, and you and you see how that thing made that little you right there. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can make that little thicker pause. All right, boom. So what a lot of times what happen, or, or they usually call this a double top. You've probably heard double top. Yo, look at gold. Yo, we just hit profit too. We in profit right now already. Dollar. I don't know if you got in the same time, but we just hit profit. It's so exciting, y'all, when we on these jungles live and we actually making money. This junk is so exciting. But um, but yeah, oh, so yeah. Yeah. I got in I got in at twenty twenty five. Okay. I got you. Yeah, it's gonna teeter totter right there until she break free. But um, yeah, it's also when you see an academy, you see them say double top, right? That means we we see we see it um bounce up to this level. We've seen it retest it. And then we see it bounce up again. And once we see that double top, we're in a sale. Or basically what it means in your teacup, we're gonna make that handle, right? Because you know you got your cup and now look, there's our little handle. Okay, so let me see if I can draw that out that makes sense. real quick. Let me see if I can draw that little handle, boom. And we got a little handle right there. You see what I'm saying? You see I had kind of look like a little teacup? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, and it's and like I said, it's gonna go when you look for um, Elliott waves. It's gonna be in that portion. Um, it's also gonna be into. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and look which one is in, but um, Elliott waves, and I think it's called patterns or something. When it shows about patterns in the market, you're gonna see mm -hmm. the double. They're probably gonna call it the double top. And I got the thing teacup from a a cat that was in uh, the trading company, you know, with us as well. Uh, what's his name? I can't even think of his real name, but they called him Mr. Teacup. 
because this is basically what he loves to trade is these teacups because you kind of know anytime the market does this double top, right? Guess what? I can sell or I can buy because your teacup can be the other way. It could be upside down teacup for example as well. Um, or, or that's called a double bottom. Boom. That was a good question, bro. Glad you asked that. Anything I else? Actually see it. Yeah, you can see that, John, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the same thing at the, at the bottom. And that's why I got into that gold trade because I felt like it was going to hit that bottom again. And go, go to the gold chart. Gold and gold is up to. Let me go back to it. AUUSD. Excuse me. All right, so you see we're in the green, right? Boom. Mm -hmm. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Boom, boom, boom. But like I said, this one was was like a smaller teacup, right? It was a this this one was a real small one because I'm only on a five minute mark. Right. Um, yeah. So basically, what I saw here was, boom. I saw I saw my cell. I'm sorry. Oh man, let me move. I'm gonna have to move this to the side over here. Okay. But again, we see we in green because we enter here and anything green is good. And as you can see, we in green. That's where our line is. Current price. I'm up $2 now. So I'm already up 10 pips in gold. Gosh almighty. We, we, own, we own something today. We own something today. Because I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm up. You see you in, you, you in the good now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. $3. Oh, yeah. She moving. Yeah, she moving. Mm -hmm. And see, like with, with me, like the, the 20 pips, I'm at a 0 0.02. So once I hit $4 at a 0 0.02, I'm good. I'm going to be okay with that. Um, you know, I'm going to take my profits. I may re-enter at a 0 0.01, possibly. But um, yeah, I'm going to take my $4 from my 20 cents and keep it moving. But um, let me show you this real quick because I did move that. I didn't want to get sidetracked. I'm sorry. But um, basically, my sale came in right here, okay? And... Oh uh, my God, I thought I clicked it. Okay, there you go. Boom, my sale came in right here. And then that's why I was saying, if it comes back up here, it's going to drop. Because remember, I was we was right here when we were just talking about it. When we started talking about it, this was right here. Right. So I said, okay, it's going to probably hit this level and then it's going to bounce down. And and damn, if it ain't do exactly what I said it was going to do. See what I'm saying? And then it may, and it's going to make this little... Mm -hmm. Right, and it's not gonna be a lot, so I'm gonna probably take this profit because it's not gonna, again, like I said, it's not gonna retrace a lot. So go ahead, take your $3 or $4 real quick. Um, and that's why we, we do this. You know, we get in, we get out, we take profits, we grow our account little by little, right? And even if you had a $400 account and you only made $4, that's 1% increase, 1% a day, right? 1% a day, four days a week, because we don't trade on Fridays. Right. Um, <clears throat> uh, well, five days, because Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I mean, you still can get five days out of that. But we really don't trade on Fridays at all. Um, and, I, and I rarely trade on Sundays myself unless I see a proper um, move kind of like this. But yeah, take those quick profits. We out the market. Made that. It hit the top here. It topped out again. Break back. Take our profit. Then we keep it moving. Ooh. All right. Anything else you want to see? Because I do want to show Cuz um, the back office. No, go ahead. No, I do want to go through that. Okay, cool, cool. All right. So what I'm about to do now, since we just went over our forecast, we talked about gold. Um, I didn't look at US 30. Um, I'll probably look at that, um, you know, later on. But gold was major. Bitcoin was major. Euro USD, USD JPY as well. Went over some little teacup um, info as well. Um, so, all right, we're going to. We're gonna close that out. This, I just want to say, make sure that uh, um, what pairs are you trading this week? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm usually sticking to right now. I'm looking at gold, Bitcoin, USD, JPY, and Euro USD. The ones I just I kind of went over. The ones you just went over? Okay. Yeah, I'm probably I'm probably not messing. I barely mess with the CAD pairs, NZD pairs, stuff like that. Yeah, and GBP, I like the, if I'm on the London session early in the morning at 2 a.m., that's when I'm trading GBP. But during the day, I probably, I usually stay away from it. 
Yeah, well, I, I'm gonna be on that 2 a.m. London session. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let me go ahead and end this recording. I'll see you there. All right, now I'm just gonna end the recording real quick.